All right, I think we're rolling. All right, you guys, I know I look like a hot mess, um, but I wanted to come on here and show you how I learned how to thread my own eyebrows. When you start practicing this, I do not suggest that you go straight to your eyebrows, okay? At one point, I let a small patch of hair grow on my legs and I practice on my own legs, or if you have a fiance who doesn't mind you practicing on their leg hair, practicing on someone's arm hair, um, anything of the such because you don't want to take off your whole damn eyebrow okay um, but let's go ahead and get into this first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put up all my hair get it out of the way because you don't want to accidentally string off any of your hair either and then what I will do is I will take clips to make sure that my hair isn't falling out with my little baby hairs. Okay, so we're gonna get up close and personal, okay? First, you need string just like what you would thread with. What I will do is I take about the length of your forearm, okay? And you double it, and then we're going to tie a knot at the end. So you want a pretty good sturdy knot so that it doesn't come apart while you are threading your eyebrows, okay? So this is what we have right now. And then you open your string up so that it should look about like this, okay? You take it like this and I tell people do a figure eight, okay? You see my hand gesture there? Figure eight, so you're just wrapping it. I say about 10, 10 times or so, and it will look like this. Now, if you're from the 90s and you remember how we used to play with the little string things, you know, kind of the same concept. So I have my fingers in here like this, and you're going to work this string back and forth like this with your two fingers. So I would say just start practicing this. Get the hang of this right here. I let my eyebrows grow out just for this video. Looking like a whole Chewbacca. So now I'm actually going to take this and anything inside this little corner right here, okay, either this corner or this corner is where you're going to put the hair, right in here. So what you do is just like this, and anything that is in here is going to be chopped off, okay? So if you line it up just like this, we have our hand here, okay? Since we're going down this way, you're going to hold this hand still, and with this hand, you're going to move it like this, okay? And that's why I say you don't want too long of a string, because if you have too long of a string, you're not gonna be able to do this. Some people like really, really short strings. I think it just depends on the person. So I'm right here, okay? You see how that happened? Let's watch again. Right in this corner is where I'm gonna put my hair. And you see how the string grabs the hair and it pulls it out. Okay. 
Now, let me back up here for a second and do it this way so you can see the motion of my hands. So just like this, and I'm only doing just that little bit of a motion, just that little bit, just a little bit. So we're not, you know, doing hand dances here, okay? It's just a little motion, just a little motion. Now if I go this way, it's just a little motion, just a little. I will say that when you get close to down in here, you want to be careful not to take off your eyelashes because if you take this and you're right here and you take this all the way down, you're going to hit your eyelashes. I've actually done that before, <laughs> so just know to be careful and to stop yourself. We're not doing huge hand motions. It's just a little, just, just a little. So now, if I'm coming over here to the underneath of my eyebrow, I'm gonna push all these up. Get them out of the way. Just like that. I will say if you're new to this, you can actually cut your fingers on this string. I've done it multiple times. Just make sure to move your hands around a little bit. Don't let the string dig into your fingers too hard because if they dig in too hard and you're going like this, you can actually cut your fingers with the string. So just things to be aware of. That's why I wanted to do this video. And um, because a lot of people ask me for it. It's, it's strange, I know, to be able to know how to do this. I actually learned um, in jail because you don't get tweezers, okay, in jail. Um, and what girls will actually do is they will take the strings out of their pillowcases to be able to string each other's eyebrows. So that's where I had to learn how to do this. So when I come up here, I'm not gonna go this way because I don't wanna accidentally lop off my eyebrow. So I'm gonna take it this way. You can actually grab just that one little piece of hair. Just like that. If you miss it, put that hair right in that corner. Just like that. So you take the piece of hair you want, put it right in that corner. Now I will say, as you get closer into here where you have really thin skin, you can cut yourself. Um, so just be careful going in here and be careful not to go too far. Again, the littlest of movement.
Now, coming up here, a lot of the times people have a lot of peach fuzz up here. If you don't, uh, what do they call it, tinkle? If you don't twinkle razor your face, um, you can actually do this to get peach fuzz off your face as well. I don't do it to my whole face. I only string my peach fuzz up here, like right in here. I, I don't string my face down here. Um, for that I would use a twinkle razor. If you want to do the peach fuzz, make sure all your other hair is pulled back out of the way. And then for this, you would do longer strides. Just like that. That's why I say make sure you move your string. Because you can cut your fingers doing this. Okay, so now we're done with this eyebrow. We were going this way. So now that I'm moving on to this eyebrow, I'm actually going to go this way now. Um, so again, the same process. We're going to put it right here in between that triangle, except now we're going to be moving this hand while this one stays still. My knot is actually getting in the way now, so I'm going to maneuver it back over to where it's in my hand so that it's not in the way of us working. On these over here, I'm going to take it like this and I'm going to come in sideways like this and stopping before I go into my eyelashes don't thread off your eyelashes Separate the hairs to make sure you're only getting the ones you want. Like these right here. So like these ones right here, push all the rest of your hairs up and just grab these. So now this is how I am right here. I've actually moved my hand from this way to this way just to hold it, to lay it across there, okay? using only one hand to move. So I'm going to lay it and move one hand. Let me step back so you can see while only moving that one hand.
Now, my eyebrows have came a long way from when I was in the 90s, 2000s, where having one line of an eyebrow was the cool thing. Okay, so um, this is about six years of growing back in my eyebrows and also microblading. The best thing you could ever do for your eyebrows, do it. It's the best. Um, just make sure you have a good technician that knows what she's doing. See, you don't ever want to go straight across like that into your brow. You always go diagonally. Alright, I think we are getting there. So, this is where we are right now. The next part, what I will do is I will grab a spoolie, eyebrow spoolie, and a little pair of scissors. Now, I personally like the bushy, waxed up, kind of full eyebrows. So don't cut too much, okay you guys? Less is more. But what I will do is I will actually push, spoolie these all up like this. They actually don't seem that long right now. These ones seem a little bit long. And I will follow my eyebrow line. So if you see my line is right here. Normally what people will do is they will brush these up and anything that goes over that line, they will then cut off the access just from that line. I like mine a little bushy, so I think I'm going to leave these ones as is. But another way to do it is to brush them down like this. Again, following that line of your natural arches of your brow. Now these ones are a little long. As I'm going to spoolie them down. If you need to, you can actually hold them right here with the spoolie. I don't normally, I kind of just let them go like this. And what I will do is I will cut just on that line and see how now they just lay straight. Um, I have eyebrows that will never grow back. Okay, like in places like right here and in places over like right in here, that hair has, it just has never grown back because I've plucked them so much my entire life. Who knew bushy brows would have came back, but... So to me, you know, I know the places that I have to fill in, um, but these are looking beautiful. Okay, so now let's check the other one. And what I will do again is I will spoolie them all up. These ones seem kind of long. Oh yeah, those are getting long.
Those ones don't seem too long yet. I could just do a little. Yeah, see, I didn't even get anything. So ones like that, I will leave until they grow out longer. So this is where we are. If there are a few, and especially like if they're in with other hairs, I will get tweezers. And I will come in here and kind of pluck through all of them. Push them back down. Oh no, we left a lot. We left a lot right in here. I don't know, can you see that? Yeah, there they are. See, we left all those. All right, let's grab the string. Taking my string again. And I seen that there was some up here, a lot actually, that we left. Yeah, there they are. See, you can only see them when it gets dark. So we're gonna get these ones out of here. I'm just gonna double check everything again. Brush it all up. Brush it on the side. I say we are good to go. Look at this. We're there, girls. We're getting there. We're getting there. Okay, so now what I like to do is get a twinkle razor or tinkle. However the hell you pronounce it. Tinkle, twinkle, whatever you want to call these razors. You can get them in a pack on Amazon. Okay, now I will tell you this thing is sharp. Mine's actually dirty right now, but I would say use it two times, three times, and then throw it away, okay? They are disposable. They are not meant to be used forever, okay? So now what I will do is I will come in and I will actually hold my hair back like this. So I will hold all of my hair back and I will come in and we're just gonna do a little peach fuzz to get rid of whatever we didn't catch. You can already see that like we're getting hair off of now. I will tell you what, I never once in a million years was gonna razor my face, ever. I was so against it. I was like, my hair is gonna grow back darker. Um, it's gonna grow back in thicker. I'm gonna look like a man. Oh my gosh, what do I do? Er, stop, hold up, do it. If you wear makeup, I tell you what, after you tinkle your peach fuzz off of your face, your makeup goes on so freaking flawless. I do this maybe once every three weeks two weeks, once a month, somewhere in there, depending, you know, if I have time or if I don't, or I really will just look at my face and see if I can see a bunch of peach fuzz. If so, then it's like, I know it's time to do it again. But since we're working on eyebrows right now, just be careful with a new razor, okay? These things are sharp. I have cut myself plenty of times before, so please be careful. And not only does it get off all of the peach fuzz, but it's also helping get off dead skin cells. I mean, if you follow me on Instagram, I've actually showed what my sink looks like after I've just tinkled my whole face and the amount of dead skin cells and peach fuzz hair is disgusting. I wouldn't do this and then go bake out in the sun, okay? So, you know, 
protect your skin. I do have melasma, hyperpigmentation, and sun damage. <clears throat> I have sun damage and melasma over everything. This, all melasma. And then if you want to come up under here, make sure, again, you don't hit your eyelashes. Don't be shaving off your eyelashes, okay? We're gonna come and I just do it just a little bit. I get most of this when I'm threading. So I try not to worry about it too much. All right. Ooh, clean face. I can feel it. All right, so now that everything is clean, we've shaved, we've threaded, we've, you know, did everything that there is to do, now what I will do is I will moisturize my face. Any skincare products, I tell you what, after you razor your face, your skincare products will be able to absorb more deeply such a game changer, such a game changer for skincare. Um, but I'm going to moisturize and then we're going to soap and fill in what needs to be filled in. I like to use First Aid Beauty. I use this on me and both of my kids. So there are a lot of different eyebrow soaps out there. I actually use this one off of Amazon. I got two of them for like eight bucks I think or something ridiculous. Anastasia actually came out with one also that comes in a little pot. I've heard amazing things about that. Either one works great. You just take any kind of spoolie that you have, get it a little bit wet under the water, and then you rub it into the soap as such, and then we're going to put it on and let it dry. Two is we're going to brush it through our eyebrows. These ones I go this way with, and then these ones I go straight up with. Other side. So we're going to let these dry. And then I'm going to go in with an eyebrow pencil. I have used Benefit Brow products my entire life. My, and you guys, I swear in the 2000s, there were no good brow products, okay? We're talking about people were using eyeshadow to put in their eyebrows, okay? Benefit came out with their brow line. Every Most of it is waterproof. Um, which I love because I mean t sometimes like I will just do my brows and nothing else and go out the house you know what I'm saying like I always have to have my eyebrows done if my eyebrows aren't done I'm not ready to go out so I can have no makeup on whatsoever but I still have to have my eyebrows done and the fact that this is waterproof I'm I love it I know a lot of people swear by Anastasia's eyebrow pencils as well I have those as well I've used them but I don't know this one is my go-to almighty forever will love this thing I like this one because it has a point when I try to do this on my monitor so you guys can see as well but I'm not gonna just color in okay I'm gonna actually come in here and I'm going to make I'm going to just make little hair strokes and I know a lot of people will be like this takes too long but it doesn't it really doesn't take that long And remember, when you are right in here, you want the lightest hand. The lightest, the lightest, the lightest hand you can possibly get. So, K 
can you tell the difference already just from that little bit just a little bit with the lightest hand and then I'll take a step back I'll look at it and I'll be like okay so like right in here I need a little bit so just in here so that it still looks like real eyebrows. And then I will come in with the spoolie. I'll give it a run through. And look at that. Look at it. All right. Okay, so comparison to the other. And then if you do make it too dark right here in the front, you can always take your spoolie and I just say go like this just a little bit and kind of brush that color out that you just put in there. Just to soften it up a little bit. So now we're gonna do the other side again with the lightest hand the lightest hand you can get now on this side my hair does not like to grow in over here All right, you guys, so this is it. Here is the finished product. Ready for a cool transition? Here we are, this is it. And these are the brows. Alright you guys, that's it for this video. I hope this helps. Just know that you can thread your own eyebrows. Just practice. Practice makes perfect, okay? Practice on um, a friend's leg hair, you know, a boyfriend or a fiance or whoever. Um, or if you have a friend, a girlfriend or a friend that, you know, would let you practice on their arm hair, like just practice makes perfect. And knowing that you will have to change the direction of your string almost 24 7 okay you can do it I have faith in you I know you can um, and if you try this tag me um, on Instagram or YouTube anywhere else um, I'm at a busy life with Rio all through all social media platforms don't forget to like if you liked this video subscribe and give me a comment down below on if you have questions or if you liked it if you didn't like it let me know y'all thoughts and i will see you on the next one bye you guys i still can't believe how good they look mm, mm, mm. Are, is you jealous is you jealous of the eyebrows